today we reacting to Young Don, the Sauce God, when your girl is half white. Um, you said Corey Sundays. I don't stream on Sundays, so we turn Corey Sundays into Corey Mondays. All right, but we about to get into this. Let's get it. So I'm coming down the hill, big cheesing, right? My girl's cheering me on. I'm feeling like a young Sean White, you feel me? But it didn't take long for me to be like, all right, how, how do I stop this? Yo, yo, how do I stop this? Bro, I couldn't stop. How do I stop this? Oh my God, that's, I've never been snowboarding, but I went uh, sledding, bruh, bruh. There are certain things you can only see if you go to certain parts of the world. A lot of Facts. people live their whole lives without seeing things that you or me may take for granted. Take for example, some people have never seen a beach. Now, to me, that sounds crazy. Snowboarding's fun? I need to try it. I grew up in Jamaica, a Caribbean island, so I knew what beaches were like before I could talk. But a consequence of growing up in a tropical climate is that we don't really have seasons. It's pretty much summer year round, which mm -hmm. means we don't have you a have winter. Snow. Which means I didn't know what snow looked like for most of my life. In fact, the first time I ever saw snow was during the winter a few years ago when my girlfriend back in college took me to the mountains here in California. We had been dating for at least a couple years at this point. So she thought it was time for me to pop that cherry. You feel me? So me, my okay. girlfriend, her sister, and her sister's boyfriend, we all pack up the SUV and set our sights for Bear Mountain, a popular okay. skiing snowboarding destination located in the city of Big Bear, California. Listen, listen. Now, I'm not, I'm, now, me, I'm used to snow. I grew up in New York, you know what I'm saying? We got snow and we kept it pushing. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if there was, there could be five, six inches of snow that morning two hour delay they're gonna get the snow up off the road you're going to school yo i moved to south carolina where they don't really ever get snow and these niggas got what well, it got down to this when i was still in school it got down to i think 29 degrees and it got too cold it didn't snow it just got too cold and they canceled school they canceled school they canceled work they closed everything they closed everything. I'm like, bro, it's not even snowing. It's not even snowing. It's just cold outside. Why are y'all canceling everything? But they canceled everything. So to go from six, four, four five, six inches of snow getting plowed and y'all go to work or school in two hours to be getting like, you know, uh -uh, you're not going nowhere. It's too cold outside, 29 degrees. That was just weird to me. But I understand. It's like it's just like a culture shock. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm in Florida, it, and, and even in South Carolina, even in South Carolina, it would get like cold. Okay. But now, right now, I'm in Florida, nigga. Yesterday, I walked to the store on December 13th. I walked to the store with shorts and a t-shirt on in the middle of December. So this is just it's just wild that 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 this even just just happens. This just be weird. From the jump, I was very excited. Because I always wondered what the snow was like. Growing up, whenever Christmas now I hate time snow. rolled around, me and all my niggas all my hate favorite snow. channels would air movies and TV shows me and where all snow my was hate a big snow. part of the whole thing. My mom would be in the kitchen cooking breakfast, playing Christmas music, and this dude on the radio talking about let it snow, let it snow. I'm like, where? Where? <laughs> where? How? So the whole ride to the mountain, I'm like, I'm about to make a snowman. I'm about to make snow angels. I'm about to be my girl in the face with this snow, you feel me? <laughs> so we're driving up the mountain, and the higher up we go, the more snow I'm starting to see on the ground. By the time we get to the top, it was a winter wonderland, bro. I felt like a kid. It was so much snow. We get to the top and park, I jump out the car. The snow makes a crunchy sound under the weight of my boots the skin on my face gets tight as it gets hit with Facts. the brisk crisp clean cold air Ugh. i look down and i think okay it's time to see what this is really all about i reach down and i grab a handful of pure there's no volume turn up yourself snow. it's it's just plain i hold it in my hand i look at it and at that point I realized. I wasn't saying nothing. Yo, this is just ice, bro. Why did I think this was about <laughs> to be like fluffy and soft and like powder? 
all of a sudden, I'm covered in snow. I turn around, nobody knows what happened. So I'm like, okay, I'm about to spray the whole block. I grabbed two handfuls <laughs> I'm about of to spray snow. spray the whole block. Right there and then, I had my first snowball fight with my girl and her people. And it was fun. So after that, we went to this like sled hill thing where basically you, you ride inner tubes down this little hill and it was very fun. Once that was done, we went to this big cabin food hall spot and got some pizza and some french fries. And everybody was having I a good time. I need to go time, to a ski lodge. I wouldn't mind. I was over the whole sled thing. I didn't want to go back to that. And we still had plenty of daylight left. And that's when I saw a poster advertising some ski and snowboarding activities. So I turned to my girl. I'm like, hey, let's go Vin Diesel? She mean? looks at me like, really? I'm like, yeah can't be that hard right feet are strapped to the board she looks at her sister her sister was with it mm -hmm. and we're like bet let's go snowboarding so we find a rental shop get all the gear and as i'm getting suited and booting i turn to the the shop guy and i'm like yo is this is this hard he's like nah <laughs> just look at other people y you look athletic yeah you know you'll get the hang of it see i was the only one in the group getting a snowboard everybody else was getting skis so I didn't have someone to teach me. My girl's like, hey, why don't you get skis so we can teach you and maybe next time we'll plan ahead and we can take all the snowboarding classes together. I'm like, babe, I ain't riding no <laughs> skis, right? I waited my whole life to do this. I ain't this. riding no skis. I was born to do this. Plus, hey, chat, chill out. That hard. Tighten don't, up, chat. Don't, don't worry about it. She's like, all right. <laughs> Fingers crossed. So we get to the slopes. We pay to get in and walk right up to the Tighten up, of chat. Tighten up, chat. I strap one foot onto the snowboard. And then with the other foot, I pushed around on the snow, kind of like a skateboard. And then I realized this really isn't that hard. In fact, I dare say it is easier to stay balanced on a snowboard than a skateboard. And I may have done a little longboarding back in high school in Florida. Pro skater. I was in like, Florida. yo, I got this. My girl looked at me a little impressed and was like, all right, let's get to it. So we get on the ski lift. It takes us up the hill. I strap my other foot onto the board and I gaze across the slope. I'm seeing little kids ripping through the snow, no problem. I'm like, I wanna do that low key, high key. key. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna do that high key. The first stop, the top of the bunny slopes, you know, for the beginners. My girl and her sister take off, and now I'm just there standing by myself, looking down the length of the hill. And then I go for it. Started off slow, but within seconds, I started picking up a good amount of speed. So I'm coming down the hill, big cheesing, right? My girl's cheering me on. I'm feeling like a <laughs> young Sean White, you feel me? But it didn't take long for me to be like, <laughs> all right, how, how do I stop this? <laughs> Yo! Yo, how do I stop this? Bro, I couldn't stop. So I'm going down the hill. I'm going faster and faster. And I'm See, like, See, this is, this is my thing right here. I used to ride. Y'all remember, um, like, the ripsticks? I, listen, me, I'm fucking mint when it comes to, I can ride the fuck out of a ripstick, okay? I'm, I'm like a ripstick champion. Can't do no tricks, but I can ride the fuck out of a ripstick. You don't know what a ripstick is? Come on, y'all know what a ripstick is. It's like the boards... With just each one got a wheel. I can ride the fuck out of a ripstick, okay? However, I would never really ride it down a big hill. Because in order to stop, you literally have to hop off that motherfucker. You see what I'm saying? So, there was this one hill that I always wanted to ride down. But, listen, I'm not... It, it says rip on screen, low-key, hey, But... I would not ride down a hill because it was too big. It's either you got to commit and ride that bit all the way down. Because you cannot bail. If you try to bail, there's no brakes. You literally have to hop off. You have to hop off the board, bro. What is something I always want to do? I don't even know for real. You have to move back. and I mean, yeah, you can move back and forth to slow you down. But you're legit. If you wanted to stop, you're not stopping. You know what I'm saying? If you want to stop, you're not really stopping for real unless you hop off the board. You can, like, go from going straight to going side to side, but you got to really bend that bit, too, if you're going too fast. 
Yeah, no, nah, you move side to side. You like wiggle to keep it moving, or you can like ride like like this to slow it down. But you can't stop that bit unless you hop off of it. Mm -mm. I never took that hill, bro, because I know for a fact if I hop off and stumble, I'm tumbling down that whole hill, and it's just gonna be a bad day. It's gonna be a bad day. I can't. I can't do it. I always wanted to, but I can't do it. To this day, I'll ride a ripstick, but like I can't do it. I always wanted to skydive. I wouldn't mind. Uh, mm, uh, I'm not jumping on nobody plane. I'll like do indoor skydive, and that's it. Yo, I'm about to die. I get all the way to the bottom of the mountain, snowboard past everybody, snowboard past a stop here, Mark, and glide right into these ropes that I guess are like the safety last ropes for the, for the noobs. noobs who don't know how to stop. And I get clotheslined and put on my back. But to be honest, didn't Yo. hurt that bad. And in hindsight, I probably was only going like 10 miles an hour. So not that bad. My ego was a little bruised, but I figured, yo, this is clearly my first time. Also, I was the only black person on this deal, <laughs> so give me a break. Only All black right? person. My girl was half white, half Mexican, by the way. You so met him I one uh, up, week ago? Girl That's comes dope. And is like, are you good? I'm like, yeah. She's like, wow, okay. Um... So I think I think you're supposed to turn your board and that's how you stop. I'm like, you sure? She's like, yeah, look look at that kid over there. I look over and there he was, like a 12-year-old, stopping on command by turning his board perpendicular <laughs> to the slope and tilting on his board. So I'm like, got it. We get back on the ski lift, get to you the top. This game? time I was like, I'm about to eat this hill. See, I've always been a full throttle kind of guy so i lean in i take off and being back is a way yo facts going down that hill bro easily 18 miles an hour which if you've ever been on like one of those electric scooters that's faster than the top speed of the, the scooter bro them electric scooters are top five you know what i'm saying electric scooters them shits are so fun bro so what time is I'm it for me 10 17 i'm like halfway down the hill when i'm like okay Time to stop. I turn my body, get the board perpendicular to the mountain, and then in the blink of an eye. Houston, we have takeoff. I am now airborne, <laughs> but not in a good way. More of a, I'm about to break my back, bro. I land on my back, my head hits the ground, and I feel like I just got laid out by an NFL defensive lineman. My ears ringing, my neck hurts and i'm just looking up into the oh sky oh my god frozen i would have been sick and if you've never been snowboarding you might be thinking how bad could it hurt you landing on snow well the snow on the bunny slopes gets compressed from all the people boarding and skiing so instead of a fluffy cushion mm -hmm. you're pretty much landing on solid just ice. ice my girl skis yes. over to me and is like are you okay i don't say anything i don't even look at her all i can think is I turned the board, like you said. <laughs> I turned the board. Something. I'm like, mm, I want to go home. We get in the car. I'm wet, in pain, angry, Bruh. Mm, miserable. We drop off the rentals and head back home. Whole time, everyone's quiet. My girl turns to me and is like, I told you to get this. Don't. Not too confident. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright. That was a banger. That was a banger. That was a banger. Alright.